Well, we're in mid-October, six weeks over in the NFL season. What a crazy week six it was. Uh, we had we had the toilet bowl, uh, Washington Miami. Somebody had to win that. Somebody had to win that game, and of course it was it was Washington thanks to the favorite two pointer by Miami. So congratulations to them. But on a speed of Washington, staying on a more deserving note regarding Washington sports, much much congratulations to the Washington Nationals. Okay, I'm just gonna say this and continue on the subject. 51 years in the making, finally made it to the World Series. More about that in my LCS um, review uh, at some point, but back to football. Um, so, yeah, Washington's off the schneid. The Jets are off the schneid. Oh, my God. I can't believe Dallas lost that game. I don't think anybody could believe Dallas lost that game. I had Dallas just blowing the Jets out of the water. What the hell happened? Uh, I just don't get it, but um, it, it makes for it makes for mediocre NFC East because Carson Wentz and all his other inco incompetency managed to fuck up and lose to Minnesota. Wonderful, thanks Carson. How is it you can how is it you can win in Lambeau but you lose at home to Detroit and you somehow lose to a very bad Minnesota team? So now so now they're three and three. And guess what? They play each other this week. That's going to be interesting. Um, somebody's getting a winning record, unless this game ends tied. <laughs> and, the, and here's the scary thought. The Giants, they're one game out. Washington, they're two games out. Oof. If one of them wins the division, I'm not saying they are, but who knows what could happen. Scary. Um, but, um... The week ended, of course, with Packers Lions in um, at Lambeau, and much like the last time we beat the Lions, we won a game that we never led. You know, it's, it's something about the Lions; they lead the whole game and then lose like that in the last second. But um, we yeah, had the Packers got a much easier. It started. It started slow. It started slow. What with the officials trying to give this game to Detroit with that phantom touchdown. And the and ignoring pass interference on Detroit, it's ridiculous. But um, um, we pulled it out, and now we're five and one. We needed this win because uh, this isn't the AF this isn't the AFC where it's just New England and a bunch of pretenders. And yes, I'm start and yes, I'm starting to put Kansas City in that category. I said this before. Kansas City lost again at home. Back to back losses at home. Uh, he, no, no, granted, granted, it was Houston, a little bit better team than, than Indianapolis that beat him, but still, it is. This is troubling. The team that is supposed to be the team that is supposed to, you know, kind of knock out, knock down New, New England and take them down. They've lost back back games at home, and it's not Mahomes' fault. He's doing his thing. But I said this before: if Kansas, if Kansas City is the team, the supposed team that's supposed to overtake New England, then we're screwed. It's going to be another New England Super Bowl appearance if this keeps up. I still have I still have the Super Bowl one rematch happening. Green Bay, Kansas City. But the Chiefs need to do their, the Chiefs need to do their part. We're doing ours. And we're in a tougher conference, which is what I'm, which is what I'm getting, getting back to. We are 5-1 and one in a conference that is loaded. Okay? You got the, the Niners. They're still, they're still, to quote a uh, future WWE Hall of Famer, on... The fee Ted. They are. And um they're five and oh after winning LA against a Rams team that has problems. Um the Saints the Saints are five and one up on top of the the, AFC, the the NFC South. Seattle, despite having a quarterback that can't throw or do anything else, uh, they're five and one. Uh, the only, the only, the only mystery is that NFC East has become mediocre, but mediocrity in divisions is kind of interesting to me. I mean, I, I love it. Uh, that means it's like a battle. It's, it's, it's definitely winner take all there. So, um, so yeah, Packers are keeping up with the Joneses as the saying goes. And, um, 
at, if the season ended at this point, we'd actually have a first round bye. It would be us and the Niners. By the way, Packers and Niners. I've got November 24th etched, etched in my mental calendar because that's going to be an important game, especially if both teams, especially if both teams uh, uh, stay this stay this course and continue to be two of the top teams of the conference this year. But uh, and, and that game's in Santa Clara, by the way. And hopefully we move to sign that football. I started a petition about it. Um, I started a petition about it. I'll post the link. It'll be in the description. Um, but, um, but yeah, it's pretty much another interesting NFC race that we happen to be in. Uh, and, uh, like I said, uh, oh, speed of Seattle. I, I spoke about Seattle. They beat Cleveland. Cleveland. Oh, my God. You know, I'm, I'm still not going to give up on this pick, on this prediction I had. I said Cleveland's going to win the division. But... They need to get out of their own way. Really, we all know what the problem is. It's their quote-unquote coach. Well, they hired the wrong guy. They should have kept Greg Williams. Instead, they decided to they let Greg Williams go and kept Freddie Kitchens. He's been fucking up that team. You know, it's ridiculous. This team this team should be at least 4-2. and two. They're 2-4. Two and four. And they're two games behind Baltimore, who won. However, Cleveland has a win over the Ravens this year, and it was in Baltimore. So that could be key because... You know, the second beat is going to be in Cleveland. You know, home field advantage. Uh, so, um, oh, and Pittsburgh got a good win in the uh, at StubHub Center in front of that home crowd full of Steelers fans. <laughs> oh my God, that's that that building has problems. They, that group that building has problems getting home fans. It's ridiculous. Um, so yeah, a lot of interesting narratives. We're what six weeks into the season. Time certainly flies, but um, anyway, so that's my brief review of uh, week six. Week seven starts in a few hours with Kansas City and Denver. Now, I think Kansas City should beat this Denver team. However, Denver has won back-to-back games, and they're at home, which I don't think should matter to Kansas City, but the way the Chiefs have been playing, you know, if, 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 if they... If they on a three-game losing streak, there might be pandemonium in the AFC West because the Raiders, the same team that got okie doked by Antonio Brown, they're knocking on the door. <laughs> it's true. They are knocking on the door. And Denver could knock on the door if they beat Kansas City. So the AFC West could be catastrophic. It would, it would really be something if Kansas City missed the playoffs. I'm not saying they will, but it would be something if that happens. It would be insane. Twitter would just shut down. Pretty much like Tennessee's offense did on Sunday. Yeesh. They benched Mariota, so there's problems with Tennessee. But um, anyway, so yeah, it starts with um, Kansas City and Denver. And speaking of Oakland, that's who's going to Lambeau. Don't worry, Chiefs. We'll help you out. You're welcome. Uh, <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, the undefeated Niners are in D.C. Um... Like I said, the Sunday night game is uh, Eagles Cowboys. That's at Jerry World. That's going to be a very interesting affair. I think Dallas should take them. If you can't beat Minnesota, you're not going to beat a good team like Dallas. <laughs> and the Monday night game is Patriots Jets. Good grief! It's sad. It's it's sad that Monday night games cannot be flexed because this is going to be a bloodbath. It's going to be over after the first two drives. I mean, it's it, it, ugh. oh. Well. So, so New England will skate to seven and zero, obviously. But um, who knows? But it should be a very good week seven. Week seven, as we, as the season head, heads into late October, it's gonna be very it's gonna be very interesting. I just know it. I'm looking forward to it, and I know you are. So, I'll just end this video by saying, enjoy this crazy season, and good day to you.